Welcome back to the Triple T Ranch and Sawmill. It's been a while since I've been on the forge because it's always hot in Texas in the summer. But today, looks like it's gonna rain a little bit. I'm gonna make a hook out of this horseshoe and a railroad spike. And I'll show you my forge, how it's all put together, some of the tools I made. But this is a simple little project I could probably knock it out in an hour or two and to get around to it I've been working on this hammer I'll make this hammer to go into my uh, one of my tractors I'm gonna taper this out right here so I can use it on the three-point hitch to line it up that will be my secondary project this is my primary project so I'm gonna build a fire here and get this dude going and give you a tour We're going to use our lump charcoal that we make right here on the ranch using a retort. I got some videos out there on that. So let's get this fire going. Now I've got most of the air holes. There are the air holes right there in the tube. Got them mostly blocked off because the railroad spike is the only thing I'm going to heat up today. And it, you know, I just don't need a lot of area. So I'm going to confine this the fire to this little area here and that'll save on fuel. What I'm going to do here is just mark the center of the spike. Looks like it's going to be three and a quarter. So I think I'll come back, since this is tapered right here, I'll come back to three inches. And that's where we're going to bend it. And really, all I'm going to do is put a 90 on here. So I'm going to score it with the file. Like that. So I can still see it after we heat it. We'll do the same thing on this one. I like to start with a lot more charcoal than what I need to start with to get a bit of coals going. Just lay these right in here. All right, while we wait on that fire to warm up, warm them spikes up, I gotta remove some nails from this horseshoe. Here's the rundown on this Whitlock Forge. Basically, we bought it at a garage sale. And originally, it was only this long, which is 12 inches. And I took some open sea purlin and extended it another eight inches. I uh, found it was just a little too short for like tongs and working that type of material, long material. So, um, we, I added the bricks, the fire bricks, just relined it basically and I had to replace the air tube that runs down the middle to make it longer and the Zomax um, pan blower what I've done is I've added a Singer sewing machine pulley so I can um, get a little inertia here let's see And I've also got, this is a little CPU blower that came out of a computer, and it's 12 volts. So what I did is I ran the output of that into the intake of this hand crank blower. And the hand crank blower blows the air through this muffler tube to that air tube there. And we've got a control here. Now when it's on low, which is what it's on now, is how I build the fire, it's on six volts. When it's on high, it's on 12 volts. And those batteries are right here. So there's a 12 volt battery, there's a six volt battery. 
I got the battery charger on it because I haven't been out here <clears throat> in a few months now. So these are some of the tools I made and I'm not proud of them, but they work. Okay, so we're gonna let those cool down right there. I never added any more coal, charcoal to the forge. So that's how much I used. There's the bucket, still looks about the same. This is a very simple deal here though. So what I'm gonna do now, is while I'm waiting on those spikes to cool down, I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up and see if I can bring a taper to that. while I'm waiting on this tool handle to heat up I'm gonna lay these horseshoes in here to burn off all the feces and it'll uh, also aid in me putting a little wax on them later to blacken them up Funny, it says hind right there on that horseshoe. I got these horseshoes from a, a guy that was a part-time farrier down in South Texas. I traded him a billy club. He wanted a billy club he could put in his vehicle. So he gave me a little box of used horseshoes. And his name is Mike. And Mike will be watching this video. So thank you, Mike, for the horseshoes. Let them puppies cool down now. I'm going to call that fit for purpose. We'll let it cool down and then we'll put this hammer which I picked up in a estate sale. It was fully rusted. Fully rusted hammer but I stuck it in a bucket of vinegar, white vinegar from Dollar General for about a week or two. Cleaned it right up. Okay, I'm running a 6011 at 90 amps, and I'm just going to freehand just by looking at this and seeing how it looks. I'm going to freehand it. Okay, 
Okay, now what I'm going to do is stick it back into the forge. Still got a little heat over there. Warm it back up. Brush it off one more time and apply wax to it. Basically, it's going to hang on the wall like that. You'll be able to hang something here and here. So this would hang like that. Okay, what I'm going to do now is just run a little bead right here at the top, and that should hold that in place. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. This will go on the tractor. It's still hot from welding. These are going to go into the sawmill. I need a place to hang a couple of saws. So that's what these are going to be used for, these hooks. Hope everybody enjoyed this video and have a blessed week.